Using occult advisors like Villegut as inspiration, Himmler began to formulate his new ideology for the Nazis. He aimed to promote a racially pure society devoted to German greatness and its ancient past. At the vanguard of these new beliefs was one of the most evil groups in history, the Schutzstaffel, or SS. The SS uh, saw itself as an elitist organization. So the men who really were committed to the Nazi cause. Well, Himmler's main task from his point of view was to develop something like a corporate identity for this organization. Himmler needed a base for his beloved SS. In 1934, he chose a remote fortress steeped in legends of witch trials, torture, and execution. Vivelsburg Castle. It became the Nazi Temple of Doom. Its past is dark. Its modern history equally as dark. And we have not begun to get to the bottom of what really went on there. What connected a cauldron found in the bottom of a lake with Himmler's mysterious castle? In spring 2011, Swiss journalist Luke Bergen broke a story in his magazine, Mysteries. According to the report, some personal effects of Himmler had been found in an attic in Germany. Among these finds, there were documents that were thought to be of Nazi origin. It's on Nazi letterhead. It's on old paper. It's stylized in the way of other documents from the era. And most every aspect about it just seems to ring true. Dated April 1945, the documents contained a movement order and an inventory of Nazi treasures. There are 35 objects or sets of objects on this list, of which one is uh, uh, called a gold kessel, Celtish. So we're talking about a gold cauldron and it's in Celtic style. And what's being referred to there is the Chimze cauldron. And there was another revelation. There, in black and white for the first time, was the suggestion that the Kim Si cauldron was kept at Himmler's fortress. Vivelsburg Castle. 